Um, right now, I would like to invite Need Money 90 from the Monero Project to speak about moderating Monero, um, the centralization necessary to maintain a decentralized community. Everybody give it up for me and Need Money. Uh, hello. Thank you for coming to the Monero Conferenzo. Uh, my name is Doug, as some of you might know me, uh, by the handle Need Money 90 on Reddit and other places. Uh, I moderate a lot of places in the Monero community. Uh, IRC, Reddit, uh, I started the XMR Trader Room uh, way back when, which is how I got my start. Uh, I saw a need, I filled it, and uh, there's, a bit, there's a bit of a story about that later on. So we'll start off with my slides. Uh, they're not up at the moment. There they are, perfect, good timing. All right, so who runs Monero? Uh, there's the core developers and the developers in general, uh, the community and the long-standing members who have a very surprising amount of pull. If you have somebody who's been around for a year or two and they express an opinion that, oh, hey, I don't really like the direction that you're going here, it gets taken into, into account. Like, that, that enters people's uh, minds and they do think about it. Um, the Monero Research Lab, uh, they give a lot of guidance towards uh, where we go with the project. Uh, they update uh, our code and, what's it called? Research papers, so that they uh, are actually uh, in the current st uh, state of the art. Um, the outreach, so uh, artists, writers, self-appointed speakers, so that would be people like Fluffy, uh, even though he goes in the core developer category. Um, the miners, though uh, we'll talk about that later. Moderators, and then of course our friends and other p groups that I'm uh, not mentioning. So why do we need moderation? Uh, platforms that don't have moderation, sorry, platforms that don't have moderation tend to have difficulty uh, with focused discussion. You, you can try and imagine holding uh, Monero community meetings on 4chan and you could probably see the issue. Uh, for the most part, there are very few unmoderated platforms. Thank you. Uh, for obvious reasons. And every platform has its own set of moderators who have their own policies that they uh, instate based on how they feel. Uh, and the community, and this is the, the decentralized part, gets to choose which of those platforms that they actually get to communicate and participate in. Uh, and so I, I don't think that uh, that makes it not decentralized, just because people are able to pick and choose the people who have to be uh, controlling the platform to maintain the discussion. Um, and discussion does tend to route around censorship. So where is the community? We, uh, the majority of the community is on IRC, uh, some of us have been moving to Matrix. Uh, way back, there was a large push from the greater crypto community to move to, uh, to, move to Slack. This was about two years back. Every single ICO and uh, coin out there had a Slack, and if you wanted to get any sort of attention uh, or conversation, those people were not willing to go on IRC to chat with you. Uh, so um, later on, we realized that Slack had some significant problems with centralization, and we've moved to Mattermost. Both exist still. There are relays between uh, IRC and our other various rooms. Um, Mattermost is a Slack clone, except it's open source. Uh, Reddit is the main hub of our discussion, r slash Monero primarily. Um, in order to keep conversation on topic in Monero, we have a number of tertiary subreddits uh, that conversation gets moved to. So for example, if you want to talk about uh, memes and uh, Monero is really awesome and rah, 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 you can go to Moonero. If you want to talk about uh, how terrible Monero is and uh, you, you just want to go and uh, talk about how much you hate it, you can go to Doomero. Uh, if you want to talk about trading, we don't want uh, price talk or uh, talk about, I mean, anything to do with markets on uh, the main subreddit. That's primarily for news and discussion of big events, uh, updates on community things. <sighs> of course, there's GitHub. That's where our code is uh, mirrored. It's primarily right now hosted on GitLab, uh, which is self-hosted. Uh, again, we like to move ourselves away from having centralized platforms be at the center uh, of our operations. There's the Telegram logo. Unfortunately, I didn't have a name there. Uh, and of course, Stack Exchange, which is uh, a place where programmers and coders and uh, anybody who wants to go and get help in, in a technical sense go uh, to talk about things. Um, I'd say probably the most important things, if you really want to get to the pulse of the community, would be IRC and Reddit. If you're looking to actually understand technology, it would be Stack Exchange. So the moderation hierarchy. 
the, the best way that it could be described would be a series of benevolent dictators. And unfortunately, that's the way that the current platform set that we uh, have available to us has set up the moderation rules. We, we don't particularly get a choice. This is just the way things are. And the policy is chosen by the head mod. However, the, the head mod uh, gets to enact the rules that they think that the, uh, both the community and the rest of the mods want. So at least with our slash Monero and uh, most of our uh, discussion avenues, the head mod gets consensus from everybody and then decides on a course to take. Uh, so thoughts on our discussion platforms. Um, r slash Monero is the, the most widely seen face of our community and it gets seen by everybody. So the moderation there is actually significantly more tolerant of uh, people who are undesirables on other platforms, uh, just because we, I mean, it's almost like freedom of speech in government. People don't really have another place that they can go to air grievances. Uh, so it, it's kind of important that that remains uh, a, a relatively uncensored discussion uh, place. So uh, one thing to note, no moderator in our ecosystem gets paid. All of us do this by volunteer work because we actually think that this is a cause uh, that's, that's worth putting our time into. Um, I, I believe that uh, good rules lead to productive discussion and they don't stifle it. If you have rules that are causing regular members to stop commenting for fear of breaking the rules, you've probably done something wrong. Um, and that, that calls for reevaluation. Um, and of course, this is the big one that a lot of people don't get. Activity for activity's sake is ex an extremely tempting thing to do. Everybody wants to have a subreddit that has, you know, 30, 50 posts a day. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, well, we, we could get there. We could uh, have meme posts and art and everybody saying, oh, wow, Monero's really awesome. Unfortunately, that just adds noise. Uh, so it, uh, there's a number of policies that the subreddit has instated that have been controversial to parts of the community because they don't understand the purpose of them and they see a lack of... Uh, of threads on Reddit or a lack of comments as being indicative of a lack of activity, when in reality, I, I think that it's, uh, it actually shows how much activity we have. I mean, if you go to the subreddit, pretty much every thread uh, is, is relevant. Uh, and that's, that's fairly significant. I don't know if you've ever been to r slash Bitcoin recently, but I don't think you could say that for the past couple years. So how do you become a mod? You offer assistance to the platforms that already exist if you have a problem with the state of their moderation. If you see lots of spam posts and you're constantly commenting on them or pinging the mods, that's uh, definitely the chance to get into the position because obviously they're not doing the job as fast as you are. Like you're, you're the obvious candidate. The people who just seek power for power's sake without realizing how they're able to help in the first place tend to be pretty bad at moderating. Um, the second way to do it is to recognize a need that's currently not filled by the community and then actually just going and creating a platform that fills it. If other people agree with it, they'll join it, and if they like your moderation, they'll stay. And of course, making a platform is not a guarantee that you'll be able to retain power for that kind of discussion section. Uh, and I have a story about that. In the early days of uh, Monero, there was a subreddit called Monero Markets. Uh, there's a Bitcoin subreddit called Bitcoin Markets that it was riffing off of. Uh, and it, was, it, it had a head mod. I'm not going to give a name right now. Um, it doesn't particularly matter. He had been inactive for three months. Nobody had commented on the subreddit. Uh, I just started making daily threads so that people could comment on price action because we didn't want price threads in our slash Monero. Um, I wasn't a mod at this point. I was just a user uh, seeing a need. And eventually one of the other moderators uh, promoted me so that I could sticky posts. This went on for a couple months. Monero's price rose. And the old head moderator came back from his hiatus and added a new moderator. And the two active moderators at that point on Monero Markets, uh, myself um, and another user, uh, asked him, hey, what's going on? You didn't contact us. You added him. And he basically thumbed his nose at us and said, this is my subreddit. You, you don't get to tell me what to do. And um, we, were, we were taken aback because Monero is extremely collaborative. Like, that's, that's not really the way that we want one of our community subreddits to be run. Um, and note at this time, Monero Markets was linked on r slash Monero. Uh, it was linked in various places around our ecosystem as the place to go if you wanted to have market discussion. 
I left the moderation post uh, at Monero Markets and created my own subreddit, uh, XMR Trader. And effectively, the community followed me there. Uh, they, they, did, they did not agree with the moderation policies of the person that was uh, moderating Monero Markets. And you can go to that subreddit. It's dead now. Um, so yeah, right now I'll talk about a couple current issues that I'm grappling with in uh, my own day-to-day -day life with uh, moderation. Perhaps you can give me some insights. Uh, the first one would be CCS and donation posts. We have a wonderful crowdfunding system. Unfortunately, that system has a centralized governance, governance structure that gets to decide who gets moved to the funding, uh, funding needed section. We have other people who post, hey, I want a donation to do this on the r slash Monero subreddit. Those two are very, very close together. Asking for a donation uh, to do something and asking for a donation on the CCS feel very, very close to me. We wanted to uh, and, and still have some issues with people asking for uh, donations on the subreddit without having gone through a vetting process. But unfortunately, that vetting process is an inherently part of our moderation hierarchy and structure that exists right now. And it, it, it turns it into something that's a bit more centralized than we're comfortable with. So we're, we're, we haven't done anything yet, uh, and we're, we're currently on the fence as to where we want to go, but uh, that's up in the air. Um, the second one is karma limits for posting. Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but at basically every cryptocurrency subreddit around, because this is literally money, there's uh, a financial incentive, are plagued by spammers and uh, people who create new accounts just to go and post uh, advertisements for the latest new thing. R slash Monero for the longest time did not have karma limits. If you had an account on Reddit, you could post on r slash Monero. Unfortunately, as the ecosystem has grown and the number of posts has grown, um, we, could, we could grow the moderation team, and that's definitely on the table, uh, but we decided to add a zero karma limit. If you are below zero karma and people have decided to downvote your posts more than they upvote them, you, you get a message that your message was uh, from Automod that your uh, comment was filtered. Um, we're currently deciding if we want to go the, the route that other subreddits do and in, institute things like five or ten karma limits. But for right now, for the most part, new accounts can comment. Um, and then, of course, uh, XMR Trader for altcoin talk. I run XMR Trader. One of the very interesting things about how uh, the dynamic of the subreddits goes is on r slash Monero, you can talk about altcoins, but you can't talk about the price. On XMR Trader, you can talk about the price, but you can't talk about altcoins. And the question is, well, why can't I talk about altcoins? Because you're in Monero subreddits. But there's a lot of Monero people who want to talk about altcoins and say things like, oh, Zcash's price went down and Monero's price went up. Therefore, I mean, there's some correlation there. And it gets very difficult to draw the line between what's a legitimate post and what's somebody advertising. Uh, and I, at least initially, had a blunt rule that just said, if you talk about altcoins, your post is removed. Um, Later, that was walked back to a, uh, an altcoin Saturday thread. So every Saturday, there's a thread that comes up, and people can talk about altcoins and solicit the views of the uh, Monero community <sighs> and talk about price, which isn't allowed on r slash Monero. I recently created a, dis a discussion thread for the community to actually talk about whether they wanted to allow light altcoin discussion. So say, maybe top 20 by market cap. We still haven't determined a uh, a reasonable filter at this point, uh, but it's currently under discussion to allow it in other other forums. But that's that's another thing that's on my plate, and uh, I believe that's it. There's just going to be a copyright. Oh, closing thoughts. Perfect. Um, moderating a community that leans as heavily libertarian and anarcho-capitalist as the uh, Monero community does is extremely difficult, and has been a huge learning experience. Uh, I found that a light touch is usually best. Whenever possible, uh, good moderators tend to use their words first and their mod tools as a last resort. Uh, and you, you have to know that taking action builds resentment. It's easy to go and hit the remove of the ban button. Dealing with the fallout is very difficult. Um, a lot of people are willing to wield the power without actually taking responsibility for it afterwards. And that's a very difficult thing. Anyways. Uh, that's about it for my talk. If anybody has any questions on Monero's moderation, um, I'm here for the rest of the evening.
Hall of Fame need money again, and let's, uh, actually, we just applauded. We don't need to thank him again yet, but we have questions, and one's right here. Thank you. Really cool talk. That's on, right? Um, and thanks for your service as a moderator. You've been a good one. It's good to know that we can, we have someone in there we can trust. Um, do you, like in your experiences, do you think that you've been able to distill any notion of a bad actor and what would constitute a bad actor? Or, or is there any such a thing? Uh, any such only thing? by gut feeling, unfortunately. If I was to try and create any rigorous definition for it, it there's always something that would slip through. Great. Uh, we, we have to take it on a case-by-case -case basis. We have one back. Um, does anybody have any other questions for Need Money? Okay, thank you. I actually don't walk away yet. I have a quick question for you. Yeah. Um, so uh, you mentioned that already that uh, basically it comes down to gut instinct and trying to manage the blowback versus... Uh, you talk to the person after you have a gut feeling. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Please. You, you, after you have a gut feeling about something, you have to talk to the person and just actually have a dialogue. And very quickly, you can figure out whether they're willing to listen or whether they're just going to talk past you. And I mean, if they're talking past you and it, it's very obvious, you can tell what's going on. So, yeah. All right, everybody, thanks again for Need Money. Honestly, I'm extremely grateful personally on a couple of levels for having need money in the community moderating the way that he does. He does a fantastic job and I want to thank him again. Yeah.